Hello, this is a video about Firebug, but if you're new to editing files on your website, you can break things. So if, if, you, if you've not done this before, I would recommend using a plugin like this. This is part of Jetpack and it's called Custom CSS. And once you've installed it, you can find it Appearance, Edit CSS. Right, so let's see where we're going. What we're going to do, I'm going to use Firebug to uh, change the background color of some areas on our page. Now the problem is finding the code, the, the particular theme I'm using, it's a WordPress theme, and there are more than a thousand lines of code. So finding just what you want can be difficult. But with Firebug, it's a lot easier. So let's see what I will do. First of all, I think we can log out now because I was, I just needed to be logged in to show you that. Right, so. Now it gives a little bit more space. What we're going to do, I'll move my thing up a bit too. I'll show you first how to install Firebug. If you've not got Firebug installed, you need to go to Tools, Add-ons, and then just search for Firebug. I'm not online at the moment, so I can't do it, but just go to Tool in Firefox, Tools, Add-ons, and then just search for Firebug. Right, so where shall we go now? Go back to our page. Once you've installed Firebug, what you'll see is a little bug icon there. So click the bug icon and this opens up the, uh, the Firebug section. Just make it a bit more space. I'm trying to make as much space as I can here. Um, now, when you've opened Firebug, you'll see this little icon here. It's like a square box with a, an arrow in it. So click that and then just hover on your page to try and find what you're looking for. Now I want to edit the background colour of the um, sidebar. Now that looks, the, the, the highlighting there, looks like it's highlighting the, um, the sidebar. So we click that and then we have a look over here. Now the trick is going up and down this, this sort of tree hierarchy and trying to find what you're looking for. Now there we've got one that says dot sidebar. It shows, when you click the HTML over here, the style sheet that matches this bit over here appears at the top of this um, this tree here. So that one says sidebar. It's a class dot sidebar. So I'm going to edit the background of that and see if it actually makes the changes we want because sometimes it can affect all sorts of other things. Click click on this code here and then press tab until you get to a new line. We're going to add the background color. Um, Firebug will try and guess what you what you want to um, what you want to do and put it in for you. So we put background there. We just press Enter, and then we're going to put a color. Now that's got just the sidebar by the looks of it, and nothing else. Sometimes you'll find that um, editing one bit of code affects another bit of code or another place on your page. So that one appears to be the one we're looking for. Right, now we've changed it to red. Over here, it's got a line number. Now if we look on line 1001, in our style sheet, we should see that sidebar there. So let's have a look. There we go, line 1001, sidebar. So we can either change that line of code, but what I prefer to do is copy it and put it at the bottom, very bottom, of our style sheet, and then we could put some. Um, oh, we could put some. Uh, yeah, and just a comment in to say what we've done. Then we just could paste it in under there. And then, if we then we can add the uh, the code that we want to change. Right. So if we save that, and then we'll go back to our page and refresh the page. It's actually saved it. Now, what you can do as well, if you click here 
and then click copy rule declaration right click so it, this is the thing that we um, that the rule in our sidebar in our uh, firebug right click it click copy rule declaration and then in the text editor just oh, I'll have to scroll that down a bit I moved it there we go it's copied it for us it's copied from here this bit into our text editor so that's an easier way to do it for you right so let's see what else we need to know right, well I'll show you some slides well I'll just do some a bit more stuff so we can see what happens so we click this button here and then we find something we want to edit so that one's a h2 tag so if we wanted to edit the h2 tag there we click select one we want and then try and find over here now that one's got no h2 but all sorts of other things as well now underneath we've got just the h2 with the font size so let's change h2 what you can do if you select uh, a value over here and then press up and down keys on your keyboard oh, make sure we can see it <laughs> um, firebug will cycle through different options for you make it bigger or smaller or whatever or you can just type them in by hand and then if you want to keep it right click copy rule declaration and then you can paste it into your style sheet just like that at the bottom very bottom of your style sheet so if I was going to put it in my style sheet I just paste it in there like that right now I made some slides now this is the real trick of finding your CSS in Firebug select the page element drill up and down to find to, to sort of uh, select exactly what you want you can drill up and down by using these little plus sides to open up the code hover over any class or div names that look relevant click the HTML look at the top CSS select on the right hand pane of Firebug and then add a background code and a colour and see if, it ch see if it's changed what you want it to change now I've made some of the slides before editing any code inside your WordPress website learn how to access your site using FTP don't, don't, don't break things if you can't fix them um, learn how to back up and restore any files and folders you might accidentally break or damage that's really important you'd be surprised sometimes you can just a single character wrong especially if you're using um, PHP getting one single character wrong can stop your website working so that's the little icon you need to start with click that one then click the little square button uh, the element inspector and then select an element on your page open up the little plus signs to drill down to the exact piece of code you're looking for and then um, click in the code in the style on the <coughs> pardon me <coughs> click the style on the left hand side on the right hand side and look for the page number here so in Firebug click to select to, to select a selector a property or a value press tab key to move to the next one press up and down arrows to cycle through options or type in a value by hand and we're back to the game well I'll leave it there because we've gone a bit longer than we should have done but thanks for watching and bye for now